This is lesson 15.12, secant line limits graphically. It says move the blue dot as close as possible to the yellow dot at x equals negative 1. Zoom in to get the blue dot as close as possible to the yellow dot without touching it. So this really is just an exploration um, lesson of moving this blue dot close. And so what happens is you see h, this value is getting less. So we're getting closer and closer to the yellow dot without really being on top of it. And then it's finding the slope, which is this dashed line in orange, the slope at that point. So the closer we're getting, it should get more accurate of a slope. So you zoom in, and then what it's doing is literally zooming in like you have on Desmos or something where you wanna see. Now look, we're in tenths. Now you wanna do it again to where we're making H even closer. So now we're a hundredth of a way, of a point away from the yellow. Hit zoom in again. Now we're in the hundredths, so now we're going to get even closer, which puts us a thousandth away, and hit zoom in. And it should make you do that three times, and then it'll say finish. We can get even closer, and so I can see what the slope of this line is. So see how it fits this graph perfectly? This was something that was curved, and now we're finding the slope of a line, a straight line, and getting a pretty good approximation. So hit finish. Then it will say the limit as h approaches zero. What that means is that the distance between the yellow point and the blue point are essentially almost zero. And that it's f of this negative one plus h, so saying it's the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is this distance. So don't worry about this too much. But it's whatever this is, getting close to. And so I'm not going to put that whole thing in. I'm going to say that really this is like 1.8 is what it would round to. So the slope of this orange line is 1.8. Pretty much right at that point. That's a good estimate. Okay, let's try another one. And actually you can watch this, how it gets closer and closer and zooms in. All right, another one. We're going to zoom the blue dot in close as we can get, and it tells me what the slope is. We're trying to figure out here at x equals three. Hit zoom in, and then we can actually get it closer. Zoom in. And so it's now that this line is changing, the black line is not changing, it's, it's really we're just zooming in on something that's curved, and it's actually making it look just horizontal here. So hit finish. So this function, this blue point is actually at a minimum, and when a point is at a min or a max, which is at the top of a hill or the bottom of a valley, that tangent line actually has a slope of essentially zero. So the slope here at this point is zero. Okay, let's try one more. We're looking at when x is 0.7. We're gonna zoom in. So move the blue close to the yellow, zoom. Zoom. Hmm. I see something happening. So the problem with this is when I zoom in, do you see the slope from this side? This is actually a negative slope. But if I were to come from this other side, now my tangent line, my orange line is going uphill. It's a positive slope. When you don't have the slopes approaching the same number from the left and the right, they sometimes call it that it has a corner or a cusp in the function, kind of comes to like a point here, that actually is going to be that it doesn't exist. So because this slope is different than this slope, this actually does not exist. Let's see if I can find a better picture of one. Let's see here. Yeah, that one's not bad. It should be here. I like this one. So if I were to zoom in, whoop, zoom in here several times, you can really see how this comes to a point. So this slope here 
this orange line, see how it's negative? But if I'm on the other side, now it's positive. It's two different slopes on either side. So it's kind of like our limit definition. If, if a, lim a limit doesn't exist, if from the left and the right it's different, well, the slope of the secant, or the tangent line can't exist, really secant line, but tangent line can't exist if we're having two different values. So this one would also be um, <clears throat> that it does not exist because it has like a corner or cusp where it's not the same on both sides.